to the past our misunderstandings and our our foolishness and our unknown And that love called us and shaped us and welcomed us in. And then he came to live in us and allowed us to participate with him. And then he tell us he would accompany us. But I called her up because I want her to be a witness to you all of some things that he's done just today. I always tell him, God, the vocabulary is so limited in our description of him. And the words seem too small to describe how big he is and how great he is. And we had this this measly vocabulary. And he's bigger than our vocabulary. Yes, he is. Sometimes when I talk about the tongue tongues, hoping that that's enough when I know that it's not. Because what we have here is not, don't even compare no. to his excellency. His majesty, his sovereignty, his good. And we get to serve him and serve alongside him. Isn't he wonderful? I called her up for her to, to, to testify of his goodness towards her father. He showed forth his love. Yes, he did. I'm going to sit down right here. <laughs> I'm not going to stay. I'm not going to cry. cry. <laughs> Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Giving honor. Hallelujah. To the apostle of this house to the apostle visiting. Um, we're actually from New Jersey as well. I'm from Jackson, hallelujah. And we came up, hallelujah, for this. Um, last year was uh, our, my first time coming and um, being a part of last year's prophetic gathering. And so um, on the way here, I told um, uh, the other two ladies while I was driving up that, um, and honor to excuse me, those of you in your prospective places. I love you, God bless you, forgive me. But I'm just so overwhelmed by God's love. Um, on the drive here, um, I told them as I was driving here that I felt the spirit of God was about to move. I didn't know exactly what he was going to do, but as I was driving, I felt like I was being lifted out of the car. I like I, I didn't feel like I was seated in the car, but like I'm trying to hold the steering wheel and like shake myself because I felt like like um, any minute like beat me up, Scotty. In other words, and I felt like I was literally elevating. And so I sat there and I said, Oh my goodness! Like whatever God is about to do. It's gonna be something great and abundant. And so we got here and we um, uh, we came, um, God um, spoke um, last night and we talked about you know different things, spiritual things and excited about whatever God was going to do. And Prophet Chris came by and um, so we were in essence going to pray for her. And so we did just that, pray for her and then um, she, um, uh, uh, my friend Tynese, uh, and it was uh, uh, sitting there with Minister Lorna and uh, Mandy. So my friend Tynese said that she wanted an impartation, and I said I wanted boldness and courage to walk like she does. Um, and so she prayed for Tynese first, and the Spirit of the Lord began to move and speak some things. So 
then the spirit of the Lord began to speak to me through prophet Chris. And so um, also as a part of a background, um, uh, she began to speak first. She began to speak and the Lord began to speak concerning thyroid and um, uh, binding up things concerning my thyroid. Now, Prophet Chris only knows me from coming here. She doesn't know my business. She don't. She doesn't know me personally. Doesn't know anything about me. So she began to speak about thyroids, and then she began to speak some other things. Um, and even um, then, she laid her hands on my stomach. And so she laid my her hands on my stomach, and she just kept them there. And I felt. I told him I felt the heat go from my from my left side down my leg and I just I felt the heat of that um oil just and so I, I just bent over because I could feel the power of God. So I'm sitting there and she's speaking different things but she began to say she said this doesn't make any sense to me but maybe it makes sense to you. She said it's shrinking. And so I sat there and I just began to weep. Because she doesn't know and what I was saying to her for about 20, 25 years. I'm 50 years old. About 20, 25 years, I've had a fibroid that just kept growing and growing. And I've had treatments and I've taken medications and I've taken shots to try and stop it from feeding on blood. You know, you know. And so it just grew and then had, you know, even had, um, a person operate in, in witchcraft against me to want it to grow and and so then I'm where I'm buying baggier shirts and, and trying to cover this stomach and so I buy one size top and a lo lower size pants because my body is all like out of shape because of the fibroid. I um, even had an ultrasound and sonograms they said it was the size of a basketball. And so, like, I, um, they, I, the gynecologist didn't want to take it out. They were scared. They thought I would lose too much blood. Then when I found the gynecologist that was going to do it, he got moved to Rhode Island. That's where he got moved to. And I'm like, God. And so then, even in the midst of doing all God told me to do, I'm praying for other people and seeing manifestations of healing. And God is moving. And I'm like, I'm like, God, when is it? I don't know about y'all, but sometimes you get to a point where you're like, God, I'm doing this faithfully. Faithfully, I'm trying to be as faithful as I can. And God, I'm seeing, I know you're Jehovah Rapha. I know you're the Lord God who heals. I have no doubt that he heals. But I'm just wondering, God, when is it going to be my time? When will it be my time? So when she spoke it, and I felt the heat, I felt it go through my body. I couldn't bear children, but I told her, after that happened, I, I was on the floor. They said it was about another half hour. I don't know, because I, I was just totally undone. And I just sat there after her being able to sit up, and I just said, God, I thank you. So even in speaking to her, she didn't know. She said, I just felt a heart is turning to jelly. And so I sat there and I said, God, so we had to go to the store. And I don't know what it's like to carry a baby. I don't know what it feels like. But there was something constantly moving on the inside of my belly. It was like as if my stomach was like settling into place and things were being rearranged in my body. And I said, God, I thank you. Because even now, so the word was, by the time I got here tonight, hallelujah. 